Hello everyone and welcome back to a new part of Dragon Ball Z Team Training. When we last left off, we defeated leader Pilaf in the 8th and final gym. We also defeated our rival Krillin after leveling up our fighters all to level 53. Now next course of action is to take our bike and go to, uh, through Victory Road to meet the Elite Four. Here we have a Krillin at the same spot that we had our rival fight, so hello there Mr. Krillin. We have already added you to our Pokédex. And here we go, the Indigo Plateau in the uh, Pokémon games, and here I think it's called the Dragon League. Oh, that is the same badge, go right ahead. You can pass here only if you have the Namek badge. Oh, that is the Namek badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. Thank you. You can pass here only if you have the red badge. Oh, that is the red badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. Very nice people over here. A uh, bio badge this time? That is the bio badge indeed. Okay then, please go right ahead. And I really love in this ROM hack that you don't have to teach Surf to anyone. Majin Badge. And the Satan Badge. <laughs> That's a funny name, of course. Now, do we have new fighters in this patch of grass over here that we can uh, catch and maybe add to our team? Who is that? Tapion. Okay, uh, Mac Punch will not take you down, I hope. Okay, a critical hit takes you down to a very sl a small slither of health. Now, I think I'm gonna use an Ultra Capsule to try and catch you. And Tapion joins the team! This swordsman is a hero from another galaxy. He has got a special ocarina. Yeah, the, the one he used to wake up Herudigarn, I believe. Alright, alright, so that's very nice. Any other fighters that we can encounter here? Okay, ap apparently there's only Tapions here, so let's proceed. And here we have the Wisdom Badge. Oh, this is... is this considered a different patch of grass? Are there different fighters here? An Uzaru, a wild Uzaru. That's wild. <laughs> Sorry, Uzaru, I don't have time to play with you right now. Now, who else? Do we have a new fighter? So far, no. We have Tapions and Uzarus. Wild Uzarus. I mean, that's why we have the Moonstone. And the final one, the Pilaf badge. Uh, he named it after himself. That's funny. And we have Victory Road. Now, I'm tempted to use Max Repel, but of course I'm not going to use it right away. Uh, I'm going to wait. To see the encounters here, and then I'm going to use it. Oh, come on. <laughs> I was so close there. Majin Boo! Hello! Level 45 too! 
I'm gonna catch two of you if I can. So, will you go down easily? Let's go. Can we catch a Majin Buu? Not with the first Ultra Capsule. Okay, you hit us with a critical hit, kind sir. That's not nice. And it's caught! <laughs> we have added Majin Buu to the team! Hello! This weird and fat monster was created by ba by Bibidi. Oh, Bobidi's father, I believe. An evil sorcerer. He can seem naive, but he is smart. <laughs> Welcome to the team, Majin Buu. And I believe he evolves into Super Buu, so in case we need to use the other fusions, um, we know where to catch Majin Buu. It's over here. That is Frieza 3. And we haven't seen you before, kind sir. Um, we have a Frieza 2 that hasn't evolved yet. Okay, another Majin Buu. Why did I want another Majin Buu? Oh, because there's a trade for Janemba. I remember now. Um, okay, so I'm gonna catch a second Majin Buu. And when we get back uh, at the Cinnabar Islands, we can trade him for Janemba. All right, our second Majin Buu has been caught. Welcome Janemba to the team in advance. Okay, where to go now? One waits? What? What is that? An item to be held by a fighter. It promotes strong growth, but lower speed while it's held. Hmm. I have no idea what that means. Okay, so this is this area. What are you? Janemba? So I don't need... To do the trade to get you? I can get Majin Buu and Janemba both at the same site. What? What's the... What's the reason for that trade then? If I can... Obtain him right away like that. That is so weird. And very unnecessary indeed. Oh, that was so close. I really thought that you would get caught here, sir. And unfortunately, Gohan will go down. Yes, I believe I'm going to use Mr. Perfect Cell because he can um, uh, restore his health back while we try and catch you. Really? You're proving to be a very, uh, a very unobedient uh, creature there, Janemba, as you should be, of course. But come on, sir. I'm wasting too many Ultra Capsules on you, kind sir. 
Um... Wow. Wow. I have no words here. Can I do something? No, all of those are gonna take you down immediately. Man. You're like a legendary or something, uh, wasting all of my Ultra Balls like that. Alright, finally! Finally Janemba was caught! Man, that was tough. This big creature can shoot energy balls with the cannons on its belly. It comes directly from hell. Have you seen its ultimate form? <laughs> yeah, I think we need to uh, get him from the box and try to evolve him a little bit. Now, this puzzle, I believe we should bring it down here, and then to the left. That works. Now, I'm tempted to use the Max Repel now, but I'm gonna wait. Oh! We have an encounter here. This here is Victory Road. It's the final test for trainers. How Pai Pai against our Go Tanks? Well, we're gonna use Kame, Hame, Ha! A Krillin! Uh, if we had Zengia, <laughs> but instead we have C18 here! Say hello to your future husband! And against you, I'm gonna use Mawashigiri. Increase your special attack all you want, sir. Cause now we're gonna use Meteor Rush. Ten Shenhan. <laughs> well, we know... What that means, Mr. Perfect Cell. Now, let's take you down. Achoo! <laughs> yeah, you couldn't handle our Mr. Perfect Cell, could you? Okay, we have an encounter here, um, but I believe we can avoid him. Now, the next wild encounter, if it's Majin Buu or Janemba, I believe I'm going to use the Max Repel. No, it's not, it's Garlic 2! Um... I believe you're gonna be weak to double kick. I don't think I'm gonna add you to the team, so... Thank you, sir, but no thanks. Alright, that's a very valuable item to be used later. And Frieza 2. I believe that's the whole uh, number of fighters that we can find at Victory Road. So I believe now is the time to use Max Repel in order to clear this place a lot faster. Or maybe after the next encounter, uh, in order to level up our Gotenks, Janemba.
And he levels up to level 54. Alright, I believe this um, victory road is going to be very nice for leveling up our fighters in preparation for the Elite Four. But for now, I think I'm gonna use Repels. Yeah, to clear it faster. Is this where we need to go? Putara? And who is that? Let me get <laughs> let me get there. Okay, we have to encounter you, sir, for to get this capsule. I heard rumors of a child protege. That would be me, sir. And I'll show you exactly why. Super Saiyan Teen Gohan? And the Mac Punch to finish you off. Oh, you have a Z drink! I forgot that about the trainers in the Victory Road. They can use uh, healing items. And Mac Punch actually deals a lot of damage on its own, so that's great. But he survives it. Well, you're not gonna survive this one. Super Saiyan Goten. No, I will keep the go tanks in. All right, and the Mac Punch will finish you off. Excellent work, go tanks. Raditz. Uh, I think I'm gonna give that to another fighter. Uh, let it be Trunks here. And against you, I will use Dragon Rush. And he misses it again. We haven't seen it even once so far. I tried to use it in the previous part against Majin Vegeta. And he missed. Now against Raditz, he missed again. I mean, it's 95% accurate, but it's missing a lot. Turles, so I will keep Trunks in. And use it again. Okay, so you know, you do know what 95% accurate means, right? I mean, it's... Out of 100, it, you only miss 5 times, but so far we have missed 2 times. King Vegeta! Yes, I will switch to another person here. Maybe... I wanted it to be Gohan, but C16. That is an awesome sprite. Uh, let's use Rocket Punch against you. And it's clear. The rumors were true. Yes, they were, kind sir. Shinron scale. That's a very nice find. Now, I believe we have to move this boulder to the left side in order to proceed. And did I mess it up? Yes, I did mess it up, so I need to reset it. Yes, and that's enough.
Oh, we need another repel. It lasted a long time, I have to say. This max repel uh, is very good. Okay, that will unlock the lower area. Uh, escape rope. That's the escape rope of this ROM hack. Yes, we avoided you. We can avoid those as well. Now, I believe we have to follow it. Indeed we do. So in case you're wondering why I'm evading all those trainers, that's because uh, I'm gonna need them later when I choose my team members that I'm gonna face the Elite Four with. Um, I'm gonna face them with those members to gain experience as well as money. So... I should have gone this way. Yes, who are you? I am Elder Kai, and that is awesome to add that in the game. I'm able to raise the power of certain fighters to break their limits, but it's not free. In exchange, I want a Senzu. Are you interested? Right now, no. But wow, so you can increase certain fighters beyond their limits. That is very helpful, and that makes me very happy that some of the weaker fighters that may be considered weak but i like can now be uh, joining our team against the elite four and the tournament of power after that and we have reached route 23 yeah where repels effect wore off that's fine <gasps> will you look at that we found dragon ball 4 only dragon ball 1 remains and I believe I'm going to uh, search where to find it, because we have collected six of the seven Dragon Balls. Yo, champ in the making. At the Dragon League, you will face the four Kais all in a row. If you lose, you have to start all over again. This is it. Go for it. Well, thank you, kind sir. Thank you, Nurse Joy. Now, I believe uh, this uh, is now on the map, so we can return back here anytime we want. But right now, I think I'm going to go and uh, search online. Uh, I will search for its location, so one second, guys, I'll be right back. A few moments later. Alright, guys, I'm back. Uh, I now know where to find the last Dragon Ball. So let's use Gotenk's ability to fly here to go where it's, uh, to where it's located. And I have to tell you, that is a very difficult place to think of. It's in uh, Red Ribbon Base. I mean, it's not a, a, normally, a normal place that you would stumble into, you know? And I believe you go down here and you surf down here. Yeah, who would think of that? Yeah, it's over here, actually. Haha, <laughs> there it is! Dragon Ball number one! And you know what that means? Do we have anything down here? Nothing? Oh, it was a hidden item! Lava cookie! What's a lava cookie? Lava Ridge, town's local specialty. It heals all the status problems of one fighter. Okay, and there's the Potara, an item to be held by a fighter. A sacred earring that boosts the power of fire-type moves. Nice. Alright, so you know what that means, guys? We can now use Gotenk's ability to fly. Can't use that here? Okay, uh, we need to get out of here first. And we found a hidden item. I remember there was an item down there when I saw the video that explains where to find the Dragon Ball. But I couldn't see any capsules. Apparently it's a hidden item. <laughs> now, since we're here, I think we can fly. Yes, and go to Makutown. Let's go to the gentleman. 
over here who has told us before to come meet him if we ever collect the seven dragon balls and now we have them so what are you going to offer us kind sir do you want to use the dragon balls yes i do the dragon balls are shining we are summoning shenron a giant dragon appeared it looks angry this is a one battle only guys to catch Shenron level 60 and you know what that is worthy that right here is worthy of our golden capsule Shenron was caught <laughs> the legendary dragon He is the holy dragon. He only appears when the seven dragon balls are gathered. Yes, I would like to give him a nickname and you all know what it is. It's big green. And I pity the fool who doesn't know that reference. <laughs> big green was transferred to Leon's PC in box two. Welcome to the team. I can't wait. Let's see him. Oh, and we can make the trade for Janemba, but we already caught a Janemba, so there is no need for that. Uh, withdraw, we have a full roster right now. Uh, move. Yeah, we have Shenron. Janemba is taking a large space in box 2 here. And Majin Buu, and another Majin Buu, a Tapion. Do you have an item with you? No, it doesn't say. So where, where do we add you? C16 or C18? Okay, I believe for now I'm gonna uh, switch out C16. Let's put him beside Zangia here. And by the way, I also leveled up Zangia up to level 52, uh, just in case we are going to need her uh, for future legendaries uh, post the Elite Four. Who is this? Yamsha? Why do you have long hair like that? That looks weird. Okay, uh, anyone else we would like to add to the team? Not right now, I would like to see Shenron in action. So, let's see your summary kind, sir. Big Green, hello. Dragon Flying, Quirky Nature. Natural Cure, heals upon switching out. Fire Breath, Wish, the user grants himself the wish of sharply raising his special attack. Heal, heals the user by up to half his full HP, can be used to heal an ally. Dragon Beam, 150, 100, a green energy beam only used by dragons. Wow, and if you noticed, I can actually use Heal outside of battle to share HP. That is, you have an item with you, what is it? Um, your summary? Shenron scale, oh, I'm gonna take that. Sorry for the weird cut guys, but the next part uh, got corrupted, I couldn't retrieve it. So I'm just gonna tell you what I did. Uh, I added Zangia instead of Gotenks uh, because of two things. She has fly like he does, and uh, we can uh, check what the Kai meant by unleashing my fighter's powers at Victory Road. Uh, next I showed off uh, Big Green's movements uh, in action, so you know what, I'm gonna do that again. Let's show it again. I used cut ability here on uh, this area and for you of course this is going to be the first time sorry the first part got corrupted like that but uh, it happens so let us show against this pear thief big greens abilities fire breath Of course, no chance, kind sir, even with a critical hit, just to rub it in, you know. Now, the other encounter is a Cyberman. 
Oh, poor Cyberman. Not so poor. You took Yamcha out. So against you, I will unleash the Dragon Beam. Yeah, it's all green on the screen right now. <laughs> Two opponents that are green in color on a green background. Uh, shooting a green laser. Yeah, uh, that was uh, very eye-opening. Now, let's use Dengue's ability to fly to go to Victory Road and see what exactly did the Elder Kai mean by unleashing her power. Now, starting from here, this is new to me. I, uh, I stopped recording at this point, so I have no idea what the Elder Kai is going to say. Or do, actually, so... Before we actually talk to him, I'm I'm going to check the summary on our Zengia to see her abilities right now. To see the amount of difference that he's gonna make. So right now she is at 7466, 115, 83, speed 74. Okay, so all is less than 100. Now let's talk to him. I am Elder Kai. I'm able to raise the power of certain fighters to break their limits. But it's not free. In exchange, I want a Senzu. Are you interested? Yes, I am, sir. Alright, show me your fighter and I will tell you if he can have a power-up. I will choose Zangia here. Alright, I'm going to unleash your fighter's power. Your fighter's power is now above her limits. Okay, let's check what... What happened to her? Oh! Okay, that's a big power-up. Speed 99, that's very noticeable right now. 105, 102, 118, and 107. Wow! So, if you like a weaker fighter like I do, I mean, I think I'm gonna add Zangia to the team that was gonna go with us to the Elite Four. Man! Okay. That, that, uh, that is very good. And you know what? I believe the current team on the screen, this is the team I'm gonna use to go to the Elite Four with. <laughs> when I think about it, they just need to level up, but that is the team, guys. Yeah. Now, I'm very interested. Can I do it again to Zengia? Let's check. This fighter's power is already above her limits. Okay, so not for Zangia. Uh, I will check for everyone. I know, I mean, big green, C18. Sorry, I cannot raise the power of this fighter. Okay, so you consider C18 as a powerful fighter. Got it. And she is, I know, but I'm, I'm just testing here. How about Mr. Perfect Cell? <laughs> of course not. So, this is only an option for weaker fighters, guys. Uh, okay, okay, got it. And looking at the team right now, I believe this is the team I'm going to go face the Elite Four with. To go to the Hall of Fame with me. I I'm proud of this team, yes. They just need to level up. So, you know what, guys? Uh, I will start now the grinding session. And next part, we are going to uh, face the Elite Four and enter the Hall of Fame. But remember, this is not the end of the game. After that, we are going to train our fighters once more to unlock more legendaries and uh, finish off with the Tournament of Power. This is something that's in this ROM hack and uh, not in the regular Pokemon game. So stay tuned for that. And thank you all for sticking with me on this part. And I'll see you next part. Goodbye.